Okay, so um, this is the original problem, and we want to uh, subtract two thirds minus one fifth, right? Um, and so it's, what you need to do is you need to get a, a, a common denominator. And uh, how we do that is we, the, re the, the fact that three and five um, are prime numbers, um, and, and if we need to talk about this, we can. Um, that's why you're able to just take the three and bring it over here and up here, and, and take the five from here and bring it here and up here. So typically, that's just, this is what you do anyway. Um, uh, but in fractions that don't have the same denominator, you want to get what's called a least common multiple. Um, so that the fractions can be proportional and so that you can actually get the answer um, But because three and five are prime you actually just have to multiply them together And um, you can't just say oh three times five and then five times three on the other side You actually have to bring the three up here and then to bring the five up here. What happens is um, You're multiplying two-thirds times five over five and you're multiplying one-fifth times three over three So this is like two-thirds times one and one-fifth times one so that you want to change the value of each fraction. And so you can actually get an accurate answer, right? So now that you have three times five and five times three, well, the uh, commutative property, property of uh, multiplication says you can do that, right? So again, three times five and five times three. So this is 15, and this is actually 15 as well. And so I now I have two times five, which is 10, minus one times three, which is three. And because I have a common denominator, I can put 10 minus 3 over this 15 that I have, right? And 10 minus 3 is 7, so now you have 7 fifteenths, <laughs> not 7 fifths. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. All right, cool. Okay.